A Testament Against the World The Lord's Rebuke The Glory of Men Must Die February 22, 2011 From the Lord our God and Savior A letter given to Timothy For all those who have ears to hear Thus says the Lord Did you think my wrath Would tarry forever? Did you think my judgment sleeps? Are my eyes closed to all these atrocities committed upon the earth, day and night, without ceasing? Are my ears also stopped from hearing? Lo, I have seen, and I have heard. My face draws near to this earth. My eyes are filled with fire and fury. My forehead wrinkles and is set hard against you, O inhabitants of the earth. For it is time. It is time to shake the cities of men by measure, and to bring up wrath from beneath. City by city shall be punished, one here and another there. Behold, it shall come upon them suddenly, and men shall fear, and with great perplexity shall their hearts fail. A great trembling shall now come upon all people. The terror of the Lord is at hand. It shall come in swiftly, and you shall not know from where it shall come. It shall come upon city after city without warning. For I have caused the earth to become angry. Lo, the depths of the earth tremble at my nearness. And soon this planet shall rage. It shall rage against you, O oh, deceitful generation. It shall devour and consume this generation, scouring from the earth all man has made. The scriptures do not lie, and my prophets speak, yet the people refuse to hear. They will not listen. Even my own people will not believe. Yet their belief is not at all required. For my will is set, and can in no wise be turned back. The truth of my word stands. It speaks throughout the generations, and echoes throughout eternity. For I am the Lord, Yahuwah. I am El Shaddai. And I shall surely perform all I have spoken. I shall not cease, nor relent, nor shall I be turned back from my purpose. The kingdoms of men must die, and the evil of men must be destroyed. All must be wiped away. Peoples of the earth, you have hated life. You have polluted my garden. Diseased and awful generation, you have destroyed the garden. And so I am come to cleanse and to wipe away. I am come down. My face is very near. Do you feel the heat of my wrath, O oh, ignorant and vain peoples? You retain no knowledge at all. Only greed and wickedness, wickedness upon wickedness, passes before your eyes without ceasing. And oh, how you love to have it so! Dead generation! Your hearts are stone. Day after day you build up wrath. The vessels overflow. Day by day, the bodies are stacked up in heaps. Day by day, the unborn are slaughtered. Whole generations of people murdered without cause. Multitudes of innocent cast off as refuse. Yet you think me too harsh, and my punishments too severe, my judgments unfair. I am the Lord. And this is my earth. These are my children.
all you see, from the ground beneath your feet to the farthest reaches of the universe, is mine. And I shall do as I please. I shall do according to the counsel of my own will. For I am God. Therefore, O peoples of the earth, because you have slaughtered the innocent and murdered your neighbor, lo, you have even made for yourselves laws that all may do their pleasure in unrighteousness and perform evil at their leisure. So then shall I also declare my law, and it shall fall hard upon the backs of all nations. Yea, I have put forth the decree, and hasten to carry out your sentences, O peoples of the earth. And what is the sentence, you ask? Look upon the slaughtered innocent. Look upon their torn and broken bodies. Behold how they are torn in pieces. See how their blood pours down and their limbs are strewn about. Look! Look how they are scraped out of their mother's womb. Look upon the works of your hands, you evil and most wicked generation. Look upon your wickedness. Look upon all you have done. Thus says the Lord God, creator of heaven and earth. Because of this blood, which remains on your hands, because of all the multitudes of slain you have piled up in heaps, because of the evil works of your hands in where you have agreed together to both do and allow them to make them law, thus shall I in like manner do unto you. In like manner shall you receive at my hand. Lo, even double shall you receive at my hand, and double again, until there is no place found that is not laid waste, until every land is polluted by the stink of rotting corpses. Both man and beast shall lie down in death together. They shall be as refuse upon the land. I shall tear down your cities and break apart all your dwelling places. I shall tear your leaders in pieces and pour out the blood of your mighty men upon the ground until it reaches unto the neck. Behold, all mighty and evil men shall be torn in pieces with their limbs strewn about in the open fields and in the waste places. Behold, the great army, the astonishing company, the assemblage of nations who have come together to fight against the Holy One of Israel, shall be broken in pieces without hand. For strong is the Lord, and sharp is the sword which proceeds from his mouth. Behold I, even I, the Lord of hosts, shall scrape every last vestige of man and his inventions from the earth at the last day. For I am God, and the glory of my strength is revealed in my Holy One. The glory of men must die, declares the Lord of hosts, the only Creator, the God of Israel. Yes, I am He, Yahuwah. Hurry now, those who hear. Hurry now, those who know me. Hurry and kiss the sun. Hurry now and kiss me upon my face, all you who know my name. Yahushua, Yahuwah.